Hello, hello, and welcome to another Southern Belle video. So today, I want to talk about the Southern tradition of taking what you have and expanding it, using it, repurposing, recycling it, and trying to make it last as long as you can and use it for as many purposes as you can. Many of you have read the classic book, Gone with the Wind, or seen the classic movie, Gone with the Wind, where Scarlett O'Hara rips down the curtains and makes it into a dress. Or maybe you've heard the old adage um, that a southern lady can turn a sow's ear into a silk purse. Well, I'm not saying that I can do either of those things. I'm not ripping off the ears of cows, and I'm not tearing down my drapes because I can't even sew. But what I can do is repurpose things that I already have. So right now, you're looking at a Christmas tree. Is it a big fancy Christmas tree? No. It's a small little tabletop Christmas tree. And I've had it for many, many, many years. And so I'm wondering if I can take this plain Christmas tree and make it not a Christmas tree, but make it a fall tree, an autumn tree, a harvest tree. Because even though I'm a person that doesn't celebrate Halloween, I absolutely positively still celebrate the harvest season. Um, both because my family is in the farming industry, but also I'm a Christian and a Bible believer. And all through the Old Testament, there were several different festivals to celebrate the harvest. Because back then, people thought that the way God was blessing people, blessing families, blessing nations was through the harvest. So let's see if we can take this plain Christmas tree and turn it into a fall harvest tree. So how do you do that? Well, I was thinking that maybe I would take these cute little scarecrows because scarecrows are so important out in the field to scare away the crows, the pests, the pestilence in order to keep the crops growing. And I would add that, and here's another one, as big chunk ornaments on the tree. Let's add those and see how the tree looks. Okay, I have added these scarecrows. How do you think it looks, y'all? Do you think the theme is starting to come together? Now these have a very heavily country influence. I have to admit that I'm not really a country decor kind of person. I'm a person who likes a little bling, um, who likes a little shine, a little shimmer. I was thinking about adding these ornaments. Now, these are really Christmas ornaments. I can admit that. But here's the thing. They're beautiful pomegranates, and pomegranates are something that gets harvested. There's also some berries here. So do you think this would go through, go with the theme? Since this is a fruit, vegetable, berry combination that is part of the harvest season. And I don't know if you could, if the camera is picking it up, but it gives it a little shine and shimmer. And I'm kind of a more is more type of person. I know some people are less is more. Some people might say, well, you know, what you have on the tree is really enough. It's the start of a theme. But let's add these shiny, shimmery um fruit and berry ornaments, and then see if we might like it a little bit better. Well, I've added some pomegranates to fill in the spaces and to give it a little shine and shimmer. So now we have the scarecrows watching over the harvest of the pomegranates and the berries to keep away those mean crows, the pests and the pestilence. So do you think we're finished? Do you think it's done? You know, Christmas trees usually have a star or an angel at the top. Do you think this one needs something at the top? I kind of think it needs something. But what? What? Let me think. What do I have just around the house that I could put up there? Let me see. Maybe some flowers? Okay, well, I found a couple of flowers, classic sunflowers. I put some at the top, 
throw a couple more on in the middle just to make it cohesive, and I think it's done. Maybe I gilded the lily, but like I said, I'm a more is more person. So in the comments, tell me what you think. Do you think it's too much of a mix of country and glamour? Do you think I succeeded in carrying through the theme? What would you have done differently? Inspire me with some thoughts of how I could do this differently next year or do this differently for a different season. And let me know if you want to see more videos where I recreate items, where I show harvest decorations or holiday decorations of any type. Because being a new YouTuber, I'm still trying to figure out what y'all like, what y'all want to watch, and how I can interest you. And the best way is by talking to me through the comments. Y'all take care now. And les a bon temps rollant. So let the good times roll. Roll in your life. Roll in your heart. Roll in your soul. Roll in your decorations. Roll on and on and on. Until I see you next time, may God bless you and have a harvest of love, joy, peace, patience, goodness, kindness, and self-control, which are the fruits of the Spirit. God bless. Bye-bye.